you just posted that how you know young men needs to hear what yeah. you just shared yeah. no and, and you know it's so to understand that though you went through what you went through you yeah. don't become that you get Woo. to choose you get to yeah. create what it is yeah. that you want for your future because right. we love what you're doing i love what um where you've come from and um you know you almost brought me to tears this is not a um you know a sermonic <laughs> event but you yeah. know it could have easily we could have had an altar call had we had a huge <laughs> audience here and really you know wallet. bring people to a healing place but right. you know there's so many people that has been through what you've been through that are right. still struggling yeah. you know they're yeah. still you know they might be uh 50 60 70 years old but still that 10 year old that's hurt and and and, and have gone through trauma and haven't been delivered um from such an experience and so yeah. i think Thank you so very much for what you you're doing and what you've you know you've grown through really yeah, and th truly thank oh, you thank, thank you so much and I, I i appreciate your words so much and I, I gotta tell you and that's why i tell the story because a lot of men and a lot, a lot of women are hiding pain because they think it makes them less of a human being i came to this realization uh as a 31 year old and kind of hiding from my destiny and hiding from my uh, purpose at gain 40 pounds, trying to be what everybody else wanted to do because I was still dealing with this pain. And I said, I need to release this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I and I was, I was, you know, I'm a treadmill gym guy. And I was, I was doing my little morning sermons to, to Facebook. And I said, you know, I was talking about no weapons should be formed against the righteous. And then something came to me. And it said, the, it's not that the weapon won't be formed, but mm -hmm. God has already fought the battle. So release that bull crap and tell mm -hmm. the people your story. You, yeah. you, can, you can transform human lives by telling Amen. your story. And I've been telling this story for 11 years to every, anybody who would listen. And I got to tell you, not just you, but I, I'm in the airport sometimes, or I'm on the base sometimes. I have grown men that come and cry in my arms and say, why, how did you get the courage to tell people you're molested? You know, you're a big old physical guy. Don't right. you think people are gonna look at you strange? I say, brother, I wasn't just molested. I grew up with women and I was, I was molested. I didn't even know if I was a man or a woman. Right, right. I didn't right. know what I was. So I gotta tell the people that because people are struggling with that. And if they don't release that, you can never be who God wants you to be. Amen. Amen, brother. And, and like I said, that's why your story is so important. When, I, when we found you, when, when I saw about you, you, you